But you know why a lot of people do not understand the word of God? And me too. Because they don't study it and read it. And then put the pieces together. Rightly dividing the word of truth and you'll see the words just come to life. Right before your very eyes. And you'll get the understanding. But you got to be seeking him. Back to Genesis 44 starting with verse 22. To all of them that he gave each man change of raiment, but to Benjamin he gave 300 pieces of silver and five changes of raiment. Gave him more money and more clothes. Something he didn't even ask for. He said, I will be found of them that seek me. And as far as he sent after this manner, ten ashes laden with good things of Egypt. Hmm. And ten sea ashes laden with corn and bread and meat for his father, by the way. So he went his, sent his brethren away, and they departed, and he said unto them, See that ye fall not out by the way. And they went up out of Egypt, and came into the land of Canaan, and to Jacob their father, and told them, saying, Joseph is yet alive, and he is governor over all the land of Egypt. And Jacob's heart fainted, for he believed them not. And they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said unto them. And when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob their father revived. Revive us. Revive. Revival. Mm -hmm. They say God is an on time God. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is you alive. I will go and see him before I die. Mm. 46. And Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. And God spake unto Israel. In the visions of the night. Oh. 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 He spoke to him how? How did he speak to him? That ain't the first time he spoke to Jacob, Jacob in the night vision. <laughs> and God said unto Israel. In the visions of the night. And said. Jacob. I know my sheep. And I called them by name. He didn't say that. But I'm just saying. He said he called his sheep by name. In the night, he said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, here am I. Mm. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. It's about to be for fulfillment of some prophecies coming. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will so also surely bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob arose from Beersheba. And the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father and their little ones and their wives and the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods which they had gotten in the land of Canaan and came into Egypt, Jacob, and all his seed with him, his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his seed brought he with him into Egypt. And these are the names of the children of Israel. Bear with me, people. I might slaughter some of these names. Which came into Egypt, Jacob his son, Reuben, Jacob firstborn. The sons of Reuben, Hanak, and Phalas, and Hezron, and Carmi. And the sons of Simeon, Jamuel, and Jamin, and Ohad, and Jachin, and Zohar, and Shaul, the son of the Canaanitish woman. And the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merai. And the sons of Judah, Ur, and Onan, and Shelah, and Perez, and Zerah, and Ur, and Onan, died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Perez were Hezron, and Hamul, and the sons of Issachar, Tola, and Fuva, and Job, and Shimon. Job, I wonder if that's the same Job. I don't know. Is that Job? But it said Job for some ooze. I don't know. <laughs> but it could be. Could be Job. <laughs> and the sons of Zebulun, Tered, and Elam, and Jalil. A lot of these names sound like names straight from Krypton. <laughs> Joel, Kalel. They love to copy off the Bible. <laughs> then these be the sons of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, and Pad Naram, with his daughter Dinah. 
all the souls of his sons and his daughters were 30 and 3. Good Lord. And the sons of God, Gad, Zephion, and Haggai, Shuni, and Esbon, Eri, and Aradai, and Erili, and the sons of Asher, Jimna, and Lash, Ishua, and Isui, and Birah, and Sarah, their sister, and the sons of Beriah, Herbar, and Malshiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah, his daughter, and these she bare unto Jacob, even sixteen souls. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph and Benjamin, and unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, and which as Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of old, bare to him. And the sons of Benjamin were Belah and Bekar and Ashbel, Gera, and Naaman, Ehi, and Rosh, Muppet, and Huppin, and Ard. They must have been twins. These are the sons of Rachel, which were born to Jacob. All the souls were fourteen, and the sons of Dan, Hushim, and the sons of Naphtali, Jazrael, and Guni, and Jezar, and Shalom. These are the sons of Bilhah, which Laban gave unto Rachel, his daughter. And she bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven. All the souls that came to Jacob and to Egypt, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were thirty, three score and six. And the sons of Joseph, which were born, were born him in Egypt, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Jacob, which came into Egypt, were three score and ten. Look at all the people God decided to, was planning to bless. Through Joseph's misfortune and rise to glory not to glorify him to glorify god and to fulfill promises that god has made to the children of israel all the way from abraham <laughs> god keeps his promises and he sent judah before him and to joseph to direct his face into goshen and they came into the land of goshen and joseph made ready his chariot and went up to meet israel his father to goshen and presented himself unto him, and he fell on his neck and wept on his neck's good while. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph said unto his brother, and to his father's house, I will go up and show Pharaoh, and say unto him, My brother and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are coming to me. And the men are shepherds, for their trade have been to feed the cattle, feed my sheep. And the men of shepherds for their trade have been to feed cattle. And they have brought their flocks and their herds and all that they have. And it shall come to pass when Pharaoh shall call you and shall say, What is your occupation? Then you shall say, The servants' trade have been about cattle from our youth even until now. Both we and also our father. And you may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptian. So being shepherd was a benefit to them. I will make you a fisher of men. 47. Then Joseph came and told Pharaoh and said, My father and my brethren and their flocks and their herds and all that they have are come out of the land of Canaan. And behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took of his brethren, even five men, and presented them unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said unto Pharaoh, Thy servants are shepherds, both we and our, and our, also our fathers. One thing you're going to realize, just because somebody is of a different belief system, that doesn't mean they are evil. Mm -hmm. Just want to throw that out there. They said, moreover, God said he set up everybody. What people do with their power, even though God knows what they're going to do, it's up to them. If they choose to serve God and be a righteous person. But that don't mean God is not just going to put all righteous people in power. He give everybody a chance to do right. Just look at it from their perspective. I heard people say all the time, God would never put such a person like that in power. God gives everybody a chance. You, me, but everybody's not going to be in that type of position. But God gives everybody a chance. They said, moreover unto Pharaoh, 
for the sojourn in the land are we come. For thy servants have no pasture for their flocks, for the family sow in the land. Canaan now therefore we pray thee, let thy servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh spake unto Joseph, saying, Thy father and thy brethren are coming to thee. The land of Egypt is before thee, and the best of the land make thy father and brethren to dwell. In the land of Goshen let them dwell, and if thou knowest any men of activity among them, then make them rulers over my cattle. And Joseph brought in Jacob his father, and set him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Why would Jacob bless Pharaoh? I will bless them that bless you. I will curse them that curse you. Oh, we, we ain't the same religion. We don't believe the same thing. I ain't got to respect you. Hmm. God is overall. And God has an order. Hmm. A lot of y'all have died of this order. We said we said in the New Testament, we said, they despise government and speak evil of dignities. Mm -hmm. Y'all better learn the Bible. Respect is due to whom respect is due. Honor is due to whom honor is due. You might want to start showing some respect because God put everybody in power. You might be found to be fighting against the Lord and his will. But I don't, that's why I don't vote on nothing. I trust God. Yes, you should vote. God is my my king. And I'm obedient to the, the laws of the land to the best of my ability. Like the Lord said to for all your gangsters and hustlers out there that hate the police and hate lawyers and hate everybody. <laughs> and Jacob said unto Pharaoh, The days of the years of my pilgrimage are a hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have the days of the years of my life been. What? Few and evil. Yeah. Of the years of my life been. And have not attained unto the days of the years of the life of my father in the days of their pilgrimage. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out from Pharaoh before Pharaoh. And Joseph placed his father and his brethren and gave them possessions in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Joseph nursed his father and his brethren and all his father's household with bread according to their families. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore. So that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the corn which they bought. And Joseph bought, brought the money into Pharaoh's house. A lot of y'all want to be in positions of power, but y'all want to be thieves. <laughs> and when money fell in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why would we die in the presence of for the money fellows? And Joseph said, Give your cattle, and I give you for your cattle if money fails. And they brought their cattle unto Joseph. And Joseph gave them bread in exchange for horses. He didn't just give things away for free. He did this for a reason. Now sometimes he do give you free things. But sometimes you got to give to receive. It is what it is. Mm. And for the flocks and for the cattle of the herds and for the asses. And he fed them with bread for all their cattle for that year. And when that year was ended, they came unto him the second year and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Lord, how that our money is spent. My Lord also have our herds of cattle. There is not enough left. There is not aught left in sight of my Lord but our bodies and our lands. Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes? Both we in our land, by us and our land, for bread. And we in our land would be servants unto Pharaoh, and give us seed, that we may live, and not die, that the land be not desolate. And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt and Pharaoh, for the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. And as for the people, he removed them to cities, from one end to the border of Egypt, even to their the other end. Only the land of the priests brought he not. For the priests had a portion assigned them to Pharaoh, and did eat their portion which Pharaoh gave them, wherefore they sold not their lands. Then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have brought you this day and your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. You shall sow the land. And it shall come to pass in the, in the increase that you shall give the fifth part unto Pharaoh, and four parts shall be your own, for seed of the field and for your food. 
for them of your household and for food of your little ones. Look how smart Joseph is. And they said, Thou hast saved our lives. Let us find grace in the sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. And Joseph made a law over the land of Egypt until this day, that Pharaoh should have the fifth part, except the land of the priests only, which became not Pharaoh's. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. Hmm, Jacob said he was going to die. <clears throat> no, he wouldn't. So the whole age of Jacob was 147 years old. The time drew, drew nigh that Israel must die. And he called his son Joseph and said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and deal kindly and truly with me. Bury me not, I pray thee, in Egypt, but I will lie with my fathers, and thou shalt carry me out of Egypt and bury me in their burying place. And he said, I will do as thou hast said. And he said, Swear unto me. And he swore unto him, and Israel bowed himself upon the bed's head. 48. And it came to pass after these things that one told Joseph, Behold, thy father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. And one told Jacob and said, Behold, thy son Joseph cometh unto thee. And Israel strengthened himself and sat upon the bed. And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me and lose in the land of Canaan, and bless me. You remember, I told you about that. Actually, he told you about it. And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful, and multiply thee. He came to him in a dream, and said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful, and multiply thee. And I will make of thee a multitude of people, and will give this land to thy seed after for thee for an everlasting possession. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Man Manasseh, which were born into thee in the land of Egypt, before I came into the, thee in Egypt, are mine. As Reuben and Simeon, they shall be mine. And thy issue, which thou begottest after them, shall be thine. And shall be called after the name of their brethren, their inheritance. And as for me, when I came to Potter, Rachel died by me in the land of Canaan, in the way when ye therefore was built a little way up to come unto Egypt, Ephraim. And I buried her there in the way of Ephraim, the same of is Bethlehem. And Israel was behold Joseph's sons and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They are my sons, whom God hath given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray thee, unto me, and I will bless them. Boy, that was, man, the men of God were so spiritual back then, they, could, they just blessed people. Don't you want to get to the point where you can just bless people in the name of your Lord? Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age, so they could not see. And he brought them near to him, and he kissed them and embraced them. And he said to Joseph, I had not thought to see thy face, and lo, God hath showed me also thy seed. And Joseph brought them out from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both. Hmm? Great. And Israel said unto Joseph, I had not thought to see thy face. God hath showed me also thy seed. And Joseph brought them out from between his knees. And he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim, in his right hand, toward Israel, left hand. And Manasseh in his left hand, toward Israel, his right hand. And brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his hand, right hand, and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hands willingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God, before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the day which fed me all my life long unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from the evil, all evil, Bless the lads, and let my name be named on them, and the name of my father Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw 
that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. Let me pause for a second. <clears throat> 